Welcome to this channel. In this video, I will help you to resolve the problem of ad account disabled. We have disabled your ad account to protect your personal and financial info. To run ads again, you will need to fill a form to request account review. Now, let me tell you the number one reason why this problem happens. You will get this problem if you are trying to add a debit card, a new, a new payment method or a new debit card or credit card to an advertising account. And normally it happens if the account, the, the card that you are adding, the currency is different from the currency on the debit, the, the account, the, the Facebook account, ad account. For example, let's say that the Facebook ad account currency is in US dollars. And let's say you are in the USA and you are adding an account that the currency is in United Arab Emirates or the currency is in Indian rupees or South African rand or Nigerian Naira or Ghana cities, you may get this problem. So if whatever you have chosen, wherever your location of your, um, where you, your current location, well, that's what I mean, the current location of the Facebook user account, okay, make sure that the debit card you are adding tallies. Make sure it tallies. Maybe if you are in the US and the other account currency is in US dollars, you are adding, make sure that at least you add an other account which is in US. Uh, sorry, a debit card. Make sure you add a debit card which is from USA or at least in US dollars. Okay. Or if you are in a country like, let's say, Ghana and you are adding let's say the account user is from ghana and you are adding an a, a, a debit card that is from the usa you will get that problem like facebook the system is able to recognize that it seems there is some inconsistency in the information so they are thinking that you are a hacker who probably want to hack the other account so they will disable it ask you to to show and prove that you are the one who actually owns it okay so um, I'm going to show you exactly how to get it resolved. But before we go into how to get it resolved, please subscribe to this channel, turn on the notification bell, so that when we produce videos, you will always be the first to see it. And also, you can check the link in the description. You can check the link in the description. We have a WhatsApp link. You can WhatsApp us so that whatever problems that you're facing, we'll be able to help you get them resolved. You can check the website links. To go to our website, you can um, buy our online course. We have a full course on Facebook um, uh, advertising, how to advertise the A to Z of Facebook advertising, including how to set up your um, pixel, how to uh, verify your domain and all those things. You can also follow the links to book a call and then to be with us on Zoom so that we can help you. Okay. So there are several options that we you can take. Now, before we go into how to fill the form, I want to show you something shortly. Come to your payment settings. Go to click on the three lines on the left-hand corner. Go to your billing. And from billing, go to payment settings. From payment settings, check. You will see something like, we notice some unusual activity. So we've disabled your ad account. Verify your account to run ads again. Okay, so you will see something like this. In fact, this is not the one that you that will involve sending an ID card uh, verifying your identity. This one you will have to verify with your bank method. But I want to show you that if you are the type who has that type of restriction that involved um, uh, something like if you see something like your ad account is disabled because uh, you violated terms such as having too many ads rejected, attempting to circumvent our ad review process of participating in a fraudulent behavior, you can check the link above on how to reinstate that type of account, okay? But for this one, when you scroll down here, sometimes the reason, the problem is because the, the information that you filled here does not tally with your current location. And as you can see, when you check here, the information that this actually for a client, the information she filled was United States of America, but she's in Ghana. So in that case, Facebook disabled the account because they are suspecting that um, is, 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 is maybe a hacker who is trying to hack the account or at least what she is trying to do is against the policies. So this one, for example, when we change the address 
of the current location, it will this particular problem will, will solve. Or if it doesn't solve, we will have to go and fill the form. So normally, when you go to your payment settings, um, for most other accounts, it's not all, but some other accounts, when you go to your payment setting, you will see something here that you can click to edit. I recently did that for someone in the United Arab Emirates who had a similar problem. But for some of you, you may not see the edit, but there is an, there's supposed to be an edit uh, option. Now, the other option that we will have to do is just to go direct and fill the form right away. So this is it. So you click on request review. You click on request review. So it brings you to here. So as you can see, select add account. Select add account. So you select add account. And then they are saying that in order to expedite the review of your account, please upload a statement of your primary payment method on your advertising account. Okay. Then, so let me just write something. So this is what you should write. Something like, my Facebook ad account has been disabled. And I'm told we noticed some unusual activity. So we have disabled your ad account. Verify account to run ads again. It all happened when I tried adding a new payment method to my ad account. Attached below is the bank statement of my primary payment method. And when you look at it in detail, you see all the Facebook deductions in it through my primary debit card ending with 3001. Okay. I don't have any intention to violate Facebook ad policies. And I am extra sure I didn't violate any policy. I am the owner of the ad account. Please review my account and get me reinstated. Now, after you say all that, you click here, you attach the form. So for example, you scroll down to where the document is, you attach it. For this one, I'm doing a demonstration, okay? I'm doing a demonstration because this one, uh, my client is yet to get a bank statement. I haven't, the bank statement is not ready yet. So I'm not submitting it, I'm doing a demonstration. But if you get a bank statement ready, and for those who don't know how the bank statement looks like, it looks like this one, okay? It looks like this one. You see something like this, all the dates, the various dates. And then you, when you are requesting the bank statement, you make sure that the deductions, the time the deductions were done on that other account, all those dates are included so that you can see the deductions. When you check here, you will see something like MetaPay, FB, and all that. So these are the Facebook deductions, okay? So you check all of them to make sure that Every deduction that was made on Facebook through the debit card, that is a primary debit card on your account, you get it. If you don't follow these instructions very well, you may still submit it and don't get it resolved. So you have to make sure that you get that particular payment method, the primary statement of that particular payment method. After that, you, you come and then add, you write, add this write-up or whatever happened and it and, and your account was disabled, you write all that, add it, then attach the file and click on send. When you send it, they will get back to you within two business days on your Facebook support inbox. You will get, a, a, what do you call it, a, a response within two business days on your Facebook support inbox. So if you don't get a response within two business days, you have to check on your Facebook support inbox. And how do you check on your Facebook support inbox? For those who don't know, um, you come to your Facebook, you click on your profile picture on the top right-hand corner, you click on help and support, then you click on support inbox. So when you come to support inbox, any information you have from Facebook, you should, you see, um, all these are alerts from Facebook support inbox. So whatever it is, they will definitely um, get back to you and your account will get reinstated. And let me show you, for those who may not know how to check your primary payment method, when you come to your ad account, you when you check below here, you will see all the payment methods you have added. The one that has been used for all the deductions or for the major deductions on your, um, your, your account. For example, when you check here, normally if the cards are still there, you will see one of them and it will write the primary or default. That is your primary payment method. When you scroll down here, you will see all the deductions, okay? When you check all the deductions, the card that was used for most of the deductions as likely to be your primary payment method, even if you don't see primary written on it. Normally, that is what is going to happen, okay? So when you scroll down here, 
you see all the payment goods. So let's click on payment activity. Okay, so you see all of them here. So you make sure that you select the right payment method. Okay, and when you follow it, you you get your solution. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. You can also take a look at some of the testimonies of some of our clients, previous clients. We have been able to help, and at the end of the day, um, you'll be able to get uh, help. You'll be able to contact us, and we can help you. Thank you once again, and then have a great day. Bye bye.